What's going on guys, it's Simo. So today I'm bringing to you a Luna Light Orcus combo tutorial. Now the other day I brought to you an introduction to Luna Light Orcus, giving you a brief rundown of how all the cards function and some basic interactions between each of the cards. But today we're gonna be giving you the full combo tutorial, showing you just how powerful this deck is. And you guys might be surprised at what this deck is capable of doing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right guys, so for combo number one, I just wanna showcase what you can accomplish with just a single Luna Light Kaleido Chick and a Luna Light Tiger. These are two of the main cards of the deck and you wanna see these in every opening hand and it only gets better from here. But I just wanna show you as a baseline where you can get with just these two cards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by normal summoning our copy of Kaleido Chick using its effect to send a copy of Yellow Martin to the graveyard. We're then gonna scale our Luna Light Tiger, use its effect to special summon Yellow Martin, and then we're gonna overlay the Kaleido Chick as well as the Yellow Martin for a copy of Raid Raptor Forstrix. Now from here, we're gonna detach specifically Yellow Martin because we want it to be in the graveyard, and we're gonna use Forstrix's ability to add Blackwing Zephyros the Elite to our hand. And now we're gonna go ahead and use Yellow Martin's ability to a special summon itself by returning the Luna Light Tiger back to our hand. And now we're gonna link both the Force Strix as well as the Martin. Martin will get banished because it was used for uh, its effect. And we're gonna go ahead and summon Nightmare Phoenix, immediately link that off into a copy of Nightmare Mermaid. Now from here, we can go ahead and use Mermaid's effect to discard specifically Blackwing Zephyros the Elite and special summon a copy of Orcus Nightmare directly from our deck. Now from here, what we can do is we can go ahead and use our Luna Light Tiger, activate it to go ahead and special summon out a copy of Luna Light Kaleido Chick. And then we can go ahead and use Zephyros the Elite to special summon itself by bouncing the Tiger back to our hand. Now this is so cool because now we have a rank four play in addition to the normal Orcus shenanigans. So if you're going up against like an Orcus mirror match, for instance, oh look, now you can drop an Abyss Dweller against your Orcus opponent, your Salamangri opponent, anyone who's using a graveyard centric deck or whatever rank four you see fit, you can now summon it in addition to your normal Orcus combo. But now from here, we just go ahead and link off the Nightmare as well as the Mermaid for a copy of Galatea. We can then banish the Nightmare, go ahead and start our Orcus place. So we're gonna go ahead and send Harpoor to the graveyard, banish that immediately to special summon a copy of Symbol Skeleton. We're gonna link off the Galatea and the Symbol Skeleton for a copy of uh, Long Gear Suit actually here. And now we can go ahead and banish our Symbol Skeleton to resurrect our copy of Galatea. Now we can use Galatea's ability, shuffle back any of our banished cards. Specifically, we're probably gonna wanna do Nightmare in this instance. And now we can search out a copy of Crescendo. And that's pretty much gonna end it for this first basic combo. So we went plus three overall in terms of card advantage. We still have the Tiger here back in our hand, but we have a rank four, which can be anything that we want from, you know, Abyss Dweller to something like, uh, you know, it can be Tornado Dragon or Evil Swarm Nightmare for like Pendu, like there's so many good rank fours that you can have. Plus you have Galatea with a Crescendo as an Omni to gate. You have Long Gear Suit and Galatea both uh, linked. Galatea will be linked as soon as your opponent summons something to their zone. But as soon, because Long Gear Suit is linked, you can go ahead and shuffle something back because you have the resources to do so. This is a pretty decent board off of just two cards, but let's go ahead and kick it up a notch. So I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking, Sima, what about Nibiru? Because any combo deck has to fear Nibiru, right? And that first combo you showed will just easily lose to that card entirely. Well, for our second combo, we're gonna show you how to play around Nibiru while also doing it a different way. We're gonna start off with Luna Light Kaleido Chick, Luna Light Perfume, so that way you don't have to always start with Tiger as well as any monster as a discard. It specifically has to be a monster and you'll see why a little bit later on, but this deck plays like 20 to 30 monsters, so it shouldn't be too much of a big deal. So we're gonna start off by using our Kaleido Chick, using its effect to send our Yellow Martin to the graveyard as cost, remember that. And now we're gonna use the Perfume to special summon back the Yellow Martin to our field. Now from here, we can actually just banish the perfume, discard this copy of Armageddon Knight. Like I said, it can be any monster. And now we're gonna go ahead and search our deck for the Luna Light Tiger, which we're gonna use a little bit later on. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and overlay, not for the four Strix, but we're gonna go for Elder Entity Nyarla. Now, from here, we can go ahead and use Nyarla's ability to change the materials underneath. And what's cool about this is, is that it actually will trigger our Yellow Martin, and that allows us to add a copy of Luna Light Serenade Dance to our hand. This is why it had to be a monster that we specifically discarded for the effect of Perfume, simply because it has to be something that we can put under the Nyarla. But now for our fourth summon for the turn, 
we can go ahead and drop a copy of Outer Entity. As a thought, that means our opponent now cannot use any monster effects and we are safe to go off freely with the rest of our plays. Now from here what we can do is we can go ahead and scale our Tiger, use Tiger to special summon back out the uh, Yellow Martin, and then we can go ahead and use the Yellow Martin as well as the Azathot to go ahead and get our uh, Nightmare shenanigans going. So we're going to go into Phoenix, we're going to pitch the Phoenix to immediately go into Mermaid. Mermaid's effect will trigger, we're going to discard this copy of Serenade Dance, and that's going to allow us to special summon a copy of Nightmare directly from our deck. Now from here we can use the effect of our uh, Yellow Martin and Graveyard to bounce this Tiger back to our hand. And then we can reactivate this Tiger to special summon our Luna Light Kaleido Chick. Now, if Kaleido Chick's gonna trigger, we wanna send another Yellow Martin here just to keep Yellow Martin in rotation because it's always good to have one of those there. And now again, we can go ahead and overlay both of these cards for a rank four, but we're gonna go specifically for four Strix in this instance because we wanna go ahead and get that Zephyros the Elite to our hand using four Strix's effect, which is exactly what we're going to do here. Now we're gonna use that Serenade Dance that we pitched earlier by banishing it, discard that copy of Zephyros the Elite, and that's gonna allow us to special summon any of our Luna Lights from the deck, which is crazy. So we're gonna go ahead for that copy of Emerald Bird. And now we can actually go ahead and use our uh, Zephyros the Elite actually to special summon itself, return Tiger to our hand, and we will take 400 damage. We can also replay this Tiger and we can bring back our Kaleido Chick, send another card if we want to, but it's a little bit unnecessary for the purposes of this combo. And now we just have a ton of monsters to work with here, which is so cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate a few things we can do here. So first and foremost, we can go ahead and use our Nightmare as well as our Mermaid to make a copy of Galatea. This is gonna open up another zone for us here, so we can actually overlay this Emerald Bird as well as this Zephyros for any rank four of choice once again. So hey, why not? Let's go for Abyss Dweller. And now from here, we have a few things we can do. So what we can actually do is here, we're gonna use the Galatea, the monster that we brought back with the Tiger, as well as the Four Strix, and we're gonna go ahead and summon Appaloosa Bow of the Goddess for three. So that means it's gonna have 2,400 attack and three monster negates. And keep in mind, we still haven't even done our Orca shenanigans yet. So so now we can just go ahead and banish the Orcus Nightmare in our graveyard. We don't need to go for Harp, we can just actually go straight for Symbol Skeleton, banish the Skeleton, re-special summon the Galatea that is in our graveyard, use Galatea's effect to shuffle back the Nightmare, and get a copy of Orcus Crescendo to our field. So this is pretty sweet, right? I mean, you have Appaloosa with three negates, you've got Galatea linked to it so it can't be destroyed by battle, meaning Crescendo is gonna be online that much longer, and you've got a Dweller that you can lock out their graveyard. But there's also a variation of this combo too, that going back to that original board that we were kind of at with all the monsters, you can change things up quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and return to that board here really quickly and show you guys something a little bit different. So it looked something like this. I'm gonna do my best to kind of replicate it as best I can. There was an Emerald Bird here. We had a Galatea, I believe, if I can find it. I think I put it back. Galatea was up here, and then we had the Blackwing Zephyros, the Elite over here, and we had this Luna Light Kaleido Chick here. So one variation of this, going back to this board, is that what you can do is that instead of going for Appaloosa for three and a Mist Dweller, you can actually go for an Appaloosa for four. So we're gonna use the Four Strix, the Zephyros, the Emerald Bird, and the Galatea, and make Appaloosa for four instead of three. So now it's gonna be 3,200 attack with four monster negations. Now we can banish the uh, Nightmare from our graveyard. This time we are gonna send Harp Horror, so that way we can go ahead and special summon the Symbol Skeleton here. We can then use both of these creatures to go ahead and summon our second copy of Galatea. We can banish the Orca Symbol Skeleton to get back our first copy of Galatea. We can then immediately rank that up into a copy of Dingirsu. Dingirsu's effect will trigger. We can attach this Orca Symbol Skeleton to the field. We can use Galatea to shuffle Nightmare back into the deck and grab us a copy of Orca's Crescendo. So this is just a variation now. So now you have Appaloosa with four effect negations. You have Crescendo, which is being able to turn, being turned on by the Galatea, which is protected by battle. And Dingirsu can protect your field 
as well because it has the ability to protect cards from being destroyed. This is just such a sick board. Let's go ahead and see what else we got. All right, guys, so for the third and final combo, we're gonna do something really sweet. We're gonna end on a board with Nightmare Griffin grabbing any card we want from our deck, essentially, as a floodgate to be able to block our opponent out in addition to having disruption on top of that. So this is going to require Lunalite Tiger, Kaleido Chick, uh, Jackalope, basically it can be any danger. We just need an extender that we can discard to the graveyard. And then Armageddon Knight, it can be any card. It's just pretty much fodder for the Nightmare Griffin. So it doesn't matter if it's a monster or not. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna start by normal summoning Kaleido Chick and we're gonna send Yellow Martin to the graveyard as cost. We're gonna scale our Tiger, use Tiger's effect to special summon Yellow Martin, and we're gonna immediately overlay both of these for Outer Entity Nyarla. We're gonna use Nyarla's first effect here actually to discard Jackalope, and that will trigger the Jackalope, enabling us to get a Mothman directly from the deck. This is where you can see the dangers really shine. Now we're gonna use Nyarla's second ability to swap the materials underneath, and this will trigger the Yellow Martin in the graveyard to add a copy of Serenade Dance to our hand. Now from here, we can actually go ahead as our fifth summon overlay into Azathoth. This shuts down Nibiru and any other hand traps, so we're free to proceed with the rest of our plays, completely unhindered in that regard. And now we're just gonna go ahead and overlay these right here into our Nightmare Phoenix, and now that's gonna link off into our Nightmare Mermaid. Mermaid, we're gonna discard the Serenade Dance that we added off of the Yellow Martin, and we're gonna get Orcus Nightmare directly from the deck. Now from here, we're gonna use Yellow Martin's ability to special summon itself from the grave by bouncing Tiger, reactivate Tiger so we can special summon our Kaleido Chick, and Kaleido Chick's just gonna go ahead and dump another copy of Martin, like I said, just to keep that in rotation. And now we're gonna overlay both of these once again for a copy of Four Strix. We're gonna use Four Strix's effect to go ahead and detach and add a copy of Zephros the Elite to our hand. And now that Zephros is on our hand, we can banish Serenade Dance, discard the Zephros that we just added, and we can special summon any of our Luna Lights from our deck. So we're gonna go ahead and get Emerald Bird. Now here's where things are gonna be different. So now we're gonna use our Orcus Nightmare, which is a machine, our Four Strix, which is a winged beast, and our Emerald Bird, which is a beast warrior, and they're all dark. Link summon them off into a copy of Curious the Light Sworn Dominion. So when Curious is Link Summoned, we get to send any card from our deck to the graveyard, which is crazy. So we're gonna send Imperial Order in this instance just to go ahead and show how powerful this is. And now from here, we can go ahead and use Zephros in the graveyard, special summon itself by bouncing Tiger back to our hand and taking 400 damage, rescale the Tiger, and we can special summon back our Kaleido Chick, I guess. And now we can go ahead and link off the Curious as well as the Zephyros for a copy of Nightmare Griffin. Now Griffin's gonna trigger. We're gonna discard the other card in our hand. Like I said, it doesn't really matter what it is. We're gonna set the Imperial Order that we sent to our graveyard with Curious. We also get to draw a card too because it's co-linked to the Mermaid. So there's also just gonna be a random card here. I guess I can just grab anything here to represent that. And now from here, we can go ahead and do the rest of our Orcus combo. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, banish our Orcus Nightmare from our graveyard. Send a copy of Harp, which we're gonna immediately banish for a copy of Symbol Skeleton. We're gonna use the Nightmare Mermaid as well as the uh, Symbol Skeleton to go ahead and make our copy of Galatea. And now we're gonna use this Galatea and Lunalite Kaleido Chick to go ahead and summon a second Galatea to this left zone over here. Banish our Symbol Skeleton in the graveyard to summon the original Galatea that we uh, made previously. And then from here, we can just go ahead and make a copy of Dengirsu on top of that Galatea. Use Dengirsu's effect to go ahead and reattach the symbol skeleton on top. We can use Galatea's effect to, spe or excuse me, to shuffle the Orcus Nightmare back into our deck to set a copy of Crescendo in our back row. And this is our ending board. So we have a Dengirsu with two materials, a Galatea that's being protected. Griffin is skill draining the field unless the monsters are linked. We have whatever card we wanted to search from our deck. This could be Summon Limit. This could be Eradicator. Medicator Epidemic Virus, it can be Imperial Order, whatever you want it to be, and we have Crescendo protecting it, and we drew another card off the Griffin in the process. Man, this deck is just absolutely wild. So guys, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this combo tutorial. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I'd really love to hear your thoughts. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like the video as always. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! content, and if you found this video helpful, consider supporting me on Patreon or becoming a YouTube channel member, because just by showing your support, in any way that you can, you're investing in my ability to continue bringing you amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! content. So thanks so much again, and we'll see you next time.